Hi guys, welcome to today's drum tutorial. Today we're looking at the song Love Race by Machine Gun Kelly. It's 96 beats per minute and there's, there's pretty much four main sections in this song, plus a couple of drum fills. We're talking through my version of this song today. I'm gonna to be breaking it down with on-screen notation. I'm gonna play the grooves first and then we'll talk it through and go through it, okay? Before we crack on this video, if you've liked this video, give it a like, let me know your comments, ask me some questions, give me some feedback, that'd be great. And if you haven't already subscribed, if you could do so, that'd also help me out tremendously. So, the first groove when we come in, it's, it's a two bar pattern, it pretty much repeats itself four times. Um, so on, on the last bar, on the eighth bar of this pattern, there's like a little drum fill into the next section. Have a listen to what it sounds like, it goes like this. So let's break down this groove. The first bar, we've got eight notes on the hi-hat. We've got a bit of a push snare, okay? Now the first snare is gonna be on the one and da, and then the last snare is on beat four. So the hands are gonna go one and da, two and three and four, and one more. One and da, two and three and four. And the kick is on beat one, and the and of two. So everything together slowly. One and two and three and four. And again, one and two and three and four and. The only difference really in the second bar of this two bar pattern is an open hi-hat on the and of the four. So the second bar would go one and two and three and four, and, and an open hi-hat on the and there. Um, it repeats itself four times, so in other words, you've got eight bars of this, okay? And on the eighth bar, we've got a little drum fill into the next section. The little drum fill is on beat four, it's just four, e, and, uh, so that whole bar slowly goes, one, and, uh, two, and, three, and, four, e, and, uh, got an open hi-hat, on the and just before the four. Let's do that bar again. Three and four and one and two and three and four e and up. And on the four e and up, all hand to hand. Right, left, right, left, into that crash for that next section. When the drums come in next, we've, we've pretty much got um, 16th notes between the snare and the floor, Tom. Have a listen, it goes like this. So the left hand on the snare, right hand on the floor, Tom, 16th notes, my hands are going. One, e and a, two, e and a, three, e and a, four, e and flam on the snare, both hands together on that last beat. The kick, one and two, and playing the way through that. So with the kick and the hands goes like this, three and four and one. Obviously that's quite quick. Then it goes into a double time kind of feel. So two bar pattern repeats itself eight times. Have a listen to what it sounds like. It goes like this. So we've got eighth notes with our hi-hat, back beats on the two and the four. Um, the kick drum in the first bar is on the one and the and of the two. The first bar slowly goes like this. Three and four and one and two and three and four and. The second bar, this is a little bit weird. We haven't got a kick on beat one, so it might feel a little bit strange. We've still got the eighth notes 
and the uh, back beat on the two and the four. So the second bar goes like this: three and four and one and two and three and four and let's do the two bars in a row: three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and again two three four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four but quicker one and two and three and four and one and two and three and one more bit quicker one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and again because of this kind of half time kind of double feel going on here it is it is quite quick it will feel quite quick especially on that right hand so that would be uh, that'd be nice for you to kind of work out and just build up and, and just jam along to the track once you've got it up to speed. The next section, it kind of goes into like a half time kind of feel again. Um, we've still got that pulse going all the way through, but it, 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 my version, I'm gonna play it on the floor, Tom. Have a listen to what it sounds like, goes like this. So this section, I'm playing my right hand on the floor, so I'm playing the kick with my right hand, so my right hand's going one and two and three and four. Um, it's a two bar pattern, it's, it kind of just changed the time a little bit, but it's pretty much the same sort of thing. The first bar, I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna go one and two and three and four. And it kind of goes double time around the kit on that last bit. The second bar is exactly the same, except on beat four, it's gonna go and uh, now the first time round I played a bell, you can hear a bell, I played a bell and then a hi-hat but it's the same notation, it's the same sticking, it's just there the first time and when it repeats it just goes to the hi-hat. So I'll play it on the hi-hat for now, let me do the two bars in a row slowly so you can just hear and see what's going on. It goes like this, three and four and one and two. So that's a little bit tricky, with that little fast run on the end of that first bar, all hand to hand, right, left, right, left, right. And that sets you up nicely for the second bar. Right, left, right, left, right. So after it's played all the grooves that we've already talked about, just repeat and go to and from rhythms that we've already talked about, you'll recognize it and hear it once you've got the track on. We've got a drum feel now, it's quite a fast drum feel, it's quite exciting. Here's my version of it, it's roughly two minutes 08 into the track. Have a listen, goes like this. So this section, we've got 16th notes, obviously we're still going that double time kind of speed, so it's really, really quick. It goes like this slowly, it goes one, two, three, and four, and one, Do it even slower. Three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one. First half of the bar. Three and four and one and a two and a. So I'm going to go rest and a two and a. Then the third and fourth beat goes right hand to the high tom. Three. Bar two, three, four, one and a two and a three and a four and a one. A little bit quicker. Three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one. Quicker. Two, three, four, one and a two and a three and a four and a one. 
Here we go. Two, three, and four, and one, and two. Here we go. Two, three, and four, and one, and two. Here we go. It is really, really quick, so you're going to have to build that up. There's quite a few other fills in this song towards the end. It goes over that chorus, that kind of groove again, that we've, all the grooves that we've talked about already. There's a couple of um, semi quaver grooves around the kit, like at the end of the phrase, end of the four, eight bars. Have a listen, you can work it out. And just play semi quavers around the kit. Main thing is the grooves and, and just the feel of it. Again, that main groove, we've got some crashes with the snare drum at the end, but just have a listen to it. I've, I've talked through pretty much the main grooves in this song just to get you going, and hopefully give you enough to work on, and then you can fathom the rest out and do your own stuff as well. So thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.